everybody. Welcome back to live at ICSC Recon 2018. I'm Alana Leffler, Head of Retail Marketing for the America's Retail Services Platform. We're here at the Las Vegas Convention Center for Recon and we've got a busy day going on here. Lots of things happening at the Cushman & Wakefield booth. Lots of amazing retail professionals here from around the globe visiting with us for the conference. It's our biggest conference of the year um, and we're really excited to be here. I'm also really excited to have Rick Latella with us today. He is Executive Managing Director and head of retail valuation for the Americas. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. It's been uh, it's been a long day already, but this is my 25th ICSC. Wow, 25th. Yeah. That's yeah. incredible. Yeah, yeah. A lot of a lot of changes here. A lot of changes. Yeah. yeah. One change I feel like we've even seen in the last few years is just more of a trend and more of a discussion on technology in the retail environment and what's changing in the landscape over the last few years. Yeah, we're, you know, we're getting a lot of questions from our clients right now because re retail today is thought of as a industry segment that's in turmoil. There's been a lot of headwinds and a lot of negative publicity about what's happening with, with, uh, with retailers in general, uh, with malls in particular, particularly with the department store uh, sector going through a lot of changes. So as valuation professionals, our clients are looking to us to provide them with real-time guidance as to valuation trends, where the opportunities are, where the pitfalls are, where the, uh, what they should be uh, worried about. And going forward, what will the retail landscape look like in the next couple of years? Right, and I think that's a question that we're all asking ourselves and all trying to figure out. And so, you know, with all the turmoil that we're hearing about, which, by the way, I think we can all agree that it is kind of just being from the headlines. It's not necessarily what we think is happening. It's definitely something that the media has been able to spin. Um, so, you know, looking at it more objectively, how does that relate to cap rates and what you're what you're doing? So, so cap rates are very sensitive to a number of things. They're sensitive to interest rates. They're sensitive to investor se uh, sentiment. Uh, and with investor sentiment today where it is and with interest rates coming up, cap rates are, are rising. That said, we are, uh, we are seeing in certain sectors a number of transactions, and we're seeing actually transactions set low cap rate records in some markets for the best real estate. Uh, in the mall space right now, uh, that's probably the one sector that has the least amount of uh, There's been very little in the way of trades, but we're on the verge of two blockbuster mergers that are happening uh, with uh, Brook uh, buying GGP and uh, uh, Rodamco, uh, Unibal Rodamco buying Westfield, uh, that will fundamentally change the landscape uh, of the mall sector uh, in the next couple of months. So. And so what do you think long-term um, changes will be? Where do you see it evolving? You know, I think that, that's the beauty of retail. It evolves. It's constantly changing. It's adapting. It's it, more than any other property type. It's, it's not static. And we think, you know, long-term, the astute uh, shopping center owners are bringing in the tenants that they feel their constituency wants to see. They're who, who the shoppers are in that market, that demographic, and they're appealing to them. And we're seeing a lot of long-term changes with more entertainment and more food, uh, which is very important concepts today. And uh, uh, we think that that, that will continue. And so I also have to congratulate you. I know that this this uh, month marks your 35th year at Cushman and Wakefield. It is. Yeah, thank you very much. I, I appreciate that. I I started in 1983 with the company in Philadelphia, and I've been in New York since 1988. And uh, it's uh, it's been a great run. I love it. I I look forward to another 35 years with this company. I've seen a lot of changes with yeah. the company, and all all for the good. I mean, we really evolved particularly our, our retail capability and platform. I mean, when I first started coming to ICSC out here, we had a tiny booth tucked away in the North Hall that nobody knew where we were. <laughs> and now here we are in Maine and Maine, and look, look, at, look at this, it's just, it's wonderful to see, so. Uh, well, that's, that's great it. to hear, and we do. We have a great position and um, a great spot that, um, that we can have a lot of folks come down and visit us at. So if you are at the convention, please come by and stop. Dice Booth C1339. And um, for those of you watching at home, thanks so much for tuning in and tune back in for later on today and tomorrow for more live stream from the Cushion Wakefield Recon Booth. Thanks. Thank you.